The Pulse School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF. Hey, Carrie Strauss here with realagriculture.com. We are back here today with another Pulse School episode, and I have here with me Scott Gillespie with Plants Dig Soil. How's it going today? Oh, not too bad today. That's good. So we're standing here in a bean field and I know lots of the prairies seen a ton of blowing this spring and especially in fields like this. And one of the conversations we're having now at this time of the year is how are we going to keep that soil down in the fall and in the spring? How can you elaborate on that? Um, okay, so when we're looking at <clears throat> probably beans are going to be one of the worst crops to deal with for blowing soil because of the undercutting and um, <clears throat> very, very little residue left over later harvest. So probably in something, something like this, the, the best option is going to be using fall rye, um, just because it's, it can germinate in almost anything, um, in any temperature, and, um, and even grow in, <clears throat> even later on will grow in snow, that type of thing. Um, the biggest, the biggest drawback to the fall rye is the managing of it the following spring. It can do too good of a job in some cases and um, become a big mat of roots that are hard to kill in the spring unless you have a plan in place. Now, realistically, of course, we want to have this plan in place, and now kind of is the time to start thinking mm -hmm. about it. So if you've never grown uh, any sort of nurse crop before, what, what sort of things do you want to keep in mind? Um, for, for a cover crop, <clears throat> I think that the main, well, everybody knows that harvest time is busy and you can have good ideas as to what you want to do, but you, you have to be committed to it. You have to remember, um, you have to remember what happened. Um, the, we're talking mainly here in, in, uh, <clears throat> Southern Alberta, but we just had, wind after wind after wind which is normal for us in the winter but we had no snow cover and mild temperatures and just remembering how much it did blow and being surprised at how much fields that normally wouldn't expect to blow did blow so um, having a plan and being committed to it is the most important thing and having having the machinery having the seed in place i think is actually probably the critical thing because <clears throat> if you expect that you'll just get it when you need it that's that's when things run out and um and i guess in terms of a plan even even on beans um there there are some innovative ways of managing it you could if you have the machinery in place plant even some between the swaths while you're waiting for it to dry and then go back and plant some more even just having those little that those strips down can help to stop some of some of the blowing if you get something before you get it harvested. So now if you're wanting to put down something like fall rye, when does it have to be in the ground really? I mean obviously it's all dependent on that frost, but if you're looking at an approximate frost date, do you know when those it has to be in the ground? Actually, well fall rye fall rye is really is really different in, in that way because it's um, <clears throat> like winter wheat is probably our, our uh, the least hardy. Then winter triticale would be the next one, and then fall rye. But even even winter wheat planted in early to mid September is good. So fall rye can go as late as well. I mean, it th there's really no late date. I've seen it. I've just in my own in my own experiences. I planted it in mid October in my own garden at home, and nothing much happened until November after a snow and then it started to grow and even then it wasn't huge but it has the roots underground so there's really no late date for fall rye. Now of course we're on irrigation land here but a lot of the prairies has seen quite a bit of drought it, it can make it kind of a tricky conversation on whether or not you're going to put that cover crop down. What what sorts of moisture does it pull from the soil? It does it um, <clears throat> that, is, that is the big consideration in non-irrigated or in true dry land or in, I guess, non-rain-fed non is that it, they do take a lot of moisture and that's where the winter crops are really nice for if you're looking at holding the soil because they, um, they'll start growing anytime really like in, 
in February or in, in March, they will start greening up. Um, but on, when you're trying to hold on to water, that, that can use up your water. So that's where um, possibly on those, you might want to consider just something like a spring crop, like a barley, oats, or even um, uh, wheat, anything that you can get a hold of that will quickly take off, but then still has that winter kill. However, another message you're kind of driving home is that if you're considering cover crops, it doesn't have to be every year. That, that's another thing. And another factor too, is it doesn't necessarily have to be the entire field. Um, uh, I grew up in Southern Ontario and I know my, my dad would just put fall rye just on the sandy hilltops of some of the fields. And, and that was a way to try to build up some, uh, to work at building up some organic matter on there, but then to hold them in place. So, um, you know, you can do a targeted thing of just picking where you think are going to be the worst areas. Um, but again, I mean, on, on dry land, um, <laughs> if you're harvesting and there's no moisture, then it's, your, your options are going to be limited. And your, your best option is going to be to try to hold on to as much of that straw um, and spread it as best you can. But um, until we get some moisture, it's going to be challenging to even establish something. Okay, absolutely. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, I don't think there's anything else. I think the main, the main thing is, is that you, you don't, don't plant a cover crop because you think it's a good thing to do or because you think, um, you think it's going to um, give you healthier soil or, or put, what in, <clears throat> put whatever in you, you think. Like actually have a real solid plan in place as to why you're doing it before you go in and do it. Mm -hmm.